This time I've uh, made a video about uh, custom pose types from Jet Engine on Crocoblock. And this time we are going to uh, make a, tuto a tutorial. We're going to make a website with the pose types. Now, the custom pose types, um, they don't work uh, as they uh, has, have to work on this moment that I make the video. I found uh, some kind of problems, but maybe uh, on the time that you watch this tutorial, they have resolved that. So um, on this moment, it's better to use the post types. And um, as you can see, I have also uh, the plugin Advanced Custom Fields Pro and the Dynamic Content for Elementor. Now, if you use those, then you can find yourself also some kind of problems when using Jet Engine. And uh, the same is for other third party plugins. So, uh, my advice is just to use the um, Jet Engine plugins so everything will work fine and smoothly. Another um, plugin that doesn't work quite well is Ali Custom Skin. Ali Custom Skin uh, makes um, listings and they call it loops and they are basically uh, the same only when you using that with in combination with uh, Jet Engine then um, things can go wrong. So be aware of that dynamic content for Elementor advanced custom fields they don't work so good with Jet Engines. And when we have uh, installed uh, the plugins, we need to install the Jet Engine and the Jet Team Car. Then you can see that um, you can toggle on what you need. In this case, for this tutorial, we need the forms and we need the profile builder and we need the dynamic visibility for widgets and sections. Once you have um, enabled then, and when you have toggled them on, then you can press the button save and everything is saved and you can use the tool. So um, when you go into Jet uh, Croco Block to this emblem, so not to Jet Engine, but to, to Croco Block, then you can see what you have installed. And here you see the Jet Engine core and the Jet Engine. And if you want to install more, then you can press this button and choose whatever you want. We don't confuse it in this tutorial, but later on we will use them. So first thing first, um, the first thing that you have to do is uh, go into the Jet Engine. Just click on the emblem from Jet Engine, the logo, and then you get yourself in these fields. So don't choose one of the options, but just um, press the logo you can toggle on what you need we need the forms the profile builder and the dynamic visibility section um, as you can see here the custom content types we don't use them don't toggle it on those of course that may cause some problems once you have saved that um, then you can go to um, um, to the jet engine so that is the first one. It's not the, the symbol, but the jet engine. No, we have done that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We go into the um, dashboards. No, we go into the settings first. I'm so sorry. As you can see here, uh, you can use also the Kappa team, but uh, the teams that working very fine with Crocoblock are generate generate press and the hello team from uh, elementor so um, i will recommend you to use those teams and not other teams um, as you can see here uh, the forms and the profile builder are now activated and the post types and that are the templates that we're going to use to update an installation you can see here what you have bought from Crocoblot and when you want to install something then you can press the button install and don't 
uh, forget to activate it because if you don't activate it nothing will happen once you have done that then you can uh, uh, push on the logo again and we go in to the skin manager and you can use uh, the import skin that uh, then you can use that for importing Johnson files or taxonomy post types from an other website where you already have installed everything and maybe you want to duplicate it you don't have to duplicate it in fact you it is better to upload it with a Johnson file and of course you can also export and um, you can use the taxonomies and the meta boxes so we're going to uh, the uh, skin manager once again we're going to close those two and then we're going to press this one then the first thing that you have to do is uh, push this button import and what it basically does is uh, it uh, optimized all the permalinks when you don't do that then you may get yourself in problems then the links won't work properly and uh, when you for example go into an, a page that you have already created then uh, you can uh, make a quick edit and then you see here the slug and that's the permalink now be aware if you uh, have made an, uh, an for example an um, uh, something like an, uh, an, an uh, hard drive or something like that and you duplicate it then by default WordPress will do something like this it um, adds an, uh, an, a number on it and then the permalink has changed and when you use that page that particular page then everything won't work so be aware of that always watch the permalinks they are super important once again to the logo and to the skin manager and we toggle on presets and then we're going to push the import button and what that is going to do is making templates and it uh, has to make one listing and um, it is a pre-filled listing and pre-filled templates so don't so that you don't have to do everything by yourself so we push imports and then when we go into the saved templates then you can see that there are made templates um, edit user edit posts add posts and user posts once you have uh, done that then we are going to build the websites and we the first thing what we have to do is go into the post types and we're going to add a new post type and the post type what does the post type do as you can see here the default uh, post is uh, post from wordpress and what it does is making another post but it is a post type they call it a post type but it's actually the same thing as uh, the default post from wordpress but it makes also another fields uh, let's just do it and uh, then you will see it by yourself so we give the post type a name and we call this post 2 and then you see that there will be a slug now that is this is very important those, those slugs are very important because here there is a slug but now when we are going to the fields you can forget about this this is also important when you go going to make more advanced websites but on this moment we're not going to use that and um, when you go into the meta fields and we are making for example uh, the heading and i do it in that because there are also Dutch people watching and we then you can see here 
that it will make an ID. And that ID is actually the same thing that we have here. It, this is this calls a uh, post type slug and it calls an ID. So what it does, it's making it recognizable for dynamic contents. So later on we have to use them and um, we have to embed it into the dynamic actions. So um, the heading uh, fields is just in a, a field and it's going to be a text. And if you uh, click on this button, then you can see then you can choose different kinds of things. We're going to add adding a, a few of them, but the first thing that we need is the text. And when you have done that, you can uh, decide what the size will be. So the display size, it's not so important. Well, actually, let's make it 50%. Then you will see later on what I mean. And that is the first fields that we are making. So that is the text. Next thing that we have to do is making another field. And we are going to make it a photo. And as you can see, it will prefilled the name photo. And it, it's also a field. And this time it's a media. And we are going to do one more. And that is the content. So we. Uh, There it is again, the prefills, and then we are going to use um, what you see is what you get. You can also choose for a um, text area, but in this case, we're going to see what you see is what you get. So it's a field where people can uh, add in their texts, and this time we uh, make it 100%. So that is the first thing that we have to do. Then we go into the advanced settings and um, make sure that everything stands just the way it is on here and toggle on that it will be hierarchical, uh, has an ar archive, sorry, and this one you also have to toggle on. The menu position is where it came here on the left side. So we, let's make it. Position one. Mm. Let me flip it in. And these are the meta fields. And the menu position is number one. You can choose an icon. But, uh, let's choose. This guy, I don't know him, but let's add them. Now, what you see here, uh, the supports is uh, you can select what this uh, particular uh, content type will support. And as you can see, it prefilled the title and the editor. We're going to delete this and we are going to make the, let's see the comments and the title. Let's apply changes. Now, when you are looking to this, the title and the content, uh, the, the, the comments, then I'm going to show you what it means. Well, actually it's not comments, it's just, uh, Well, just leave it all, only the, the title. So now it's on uh, position one. And uh, when we open it, we're adding a new page. Then you can see that uh, it uh, has a photo. So what you see is what you get, editor, and the heading. Now it supports also the title. And that is the Alinea here upstairs.
and if you go into the default po post, <coughs> and I'm going to delete this. <coughs> We're going to add a, a new post. Then you can see here that this is the title. So uh, we support the title in this post type. So when we're adding a new one, then we can see here the title. Give it a name. Doesn't matter what the name is, the heading. Choose media. And just write here some text. Or actually we can go to dummy text. I'm gonna copy it. And we're gonna paste it in here. And then you can publish it. So when we go here, then we see that we have one post. And that is our new uh, post that we've created. Now, uh, what you also can do is making ta taxonomies. And what taxonomies are, they are posts and they are parents. This is the parent and you make ch child children's children's so when you go into jet engine and taxonomies then you see here the one that i already made but when you are adding a new taxonomy then you can choose for for, for example uh, give it a name and then you see here once again the taxonomy slug it's created by itself what you also can do is uh, making an, a meta field and we give it the name photo. Now be aware, we already had an, uh, uh, an ID who, what, what was calling photo, so we make it another ID. Otherwise, you, you get some problems. It's a field and this is um, media. Once you have done that, then you can add the taxonomy and you have to choose the post type and that's the post type that we had made post number two so it's in here you see post number two is that one and then you can add the taxonomy and then when you go in here then you see here that we have made this taxonomy and it's right here under this post when you click in that then you making the First taxonomy, you can choose media and you can edit and then it's in here. All right, so uh, that's what we have done uh, for now. Uh, the next thing that you can uh, do is going to the uh, save templates and uh, what you see here are all templates with uh, forms so when we are uh, opening this one the adding post then you see here that there is a form and that is for all the templates so uh, the save templates then you can see here what they are all being pre-filled when we uh, hit that button and um, when we go into the profile builder then we have to make an account page and we have to go to the pages you can also make an archive page but we are going to make it for this time only a page 
So add new page and just give the name. And we're going to publish it. Uh, as you can see here, we have made two uh, uh, pages with the same name. And if you view this page, just make it uh, a quick edit. And then you can see here account page one. And when we are watching this one, quick edit, then you can see account number two. So this will cause you problems, with uh, what I told you in the beginning. So we're going to return to all pages, and we're going to delete this one. Otherwise, you get yourself in problems. And we're going to delete it permanently. So that we don't get in problem. So this is the account page. Now, when we go in here to the... Um, save templates once again then you can see that all those uh, templates with all those forms are going to be adding to the account page we're going to assign it to the account page so um, what we have to do is go into get engine and to the profile builder and once we are in the profile builder then we can say what is the account page so that is the page that we have made. And we're going to toggle on the account page. And the rest we're going to leave it as it is. User page, we're not going to use it on this tutorial. And the single user page, we also won't going to use it. And we're going to choose for um, rewrite. Because when you toggle on content, then the pro the um, Profile page will display the whole contents, and now we are only going to use the rewritable um, templates. Hide the admin bar. Um, that is the bar here on top. So it's better that to toggle that on because you don't want the user to see here in the menu bar. Once you have done that, then you have to check on save. And what you can see here, that is the account page. So that is this is the menu. And as you can see, there are too many menus. But what this basically is, when we are going to our profile page, so we go into the pages once again. And it's strange eh? because I have already only this one added and now I get confused. <laughs> it's just one uh, one simple thing, but whatever. Um, then we um, going to see it with Elementor. Then you can see that the account page is blank. What you have to do on the account page is going down and see for the profile menu and then you can edit and mm, you can choose how it appears uh, the context is accounts you don't have to change it in the single user page and i like it this way there are too many of them so we're going to delete a couple of them we're going back to the Profile page. The profile builder, I mean. And then you're going to see here all those pages that you briefly saw. So we're going to delete this one. They've been added. Uh, because I already used and already made an, uh, um, a website, but now we're only going to use this one. So uh, the main, add new posts, edit posts, 
user setting and this one we also can delete and the user setting and when you save that and when you go into the team builder once again then you can see that all those uh, templates edit user edit post add post user post and the default kits you can also delete it there are connected with the profile builder i'm switching from one to the other page because i want to uh, make clear that you understand what the meaning is so when we go into main then uh, you can see what the slug is this is uh, once again the slug and can use here a template now this is the main so it doesn't have to have a template um, and you can also hide it from the menu uh, hide menu so the, the the top and this is very important because um, this is the, the uh, for words what is it available the roles they are very important you must keep them in in, in your mind and we're going to choose for a subscriber and the administrator is fine and then we're going to add posts here is the slug for add posts and then the templates that we're going to use is uh, of course add new post so let's see that to the template save templates and that is uh, add post add post and the user role you can uh, keep it uh, the way it is like this let's see what happens edit post is of course add post and the user setting also double you can just leave it as this so once you have done that then you can uh, click on save now notice that um, i've choose here for uh, hide from menu this is not the same thing as we have toggled previous um, that we have uh, we can hide the menu bar here on top what this means is that it's not going to be displayed on the menu from the subscriber in this case so when we save this and you see uh, edit post and then when you go to the profile page all pages and to the account page i mean and we're going to edit then you won't see it in here you only see add new post and user setting yeah so the, this is the only thing that we need so the the, the other one we have disconnected from the menu from the subscriber now we are going back the next thing what we are going to do is go into uh, the wordpress setting settings and uh, general is okay and um, the new user default role you can select here so we, we we are we have chosen for subscriber so make sure that it will stay on subscriber okay once we have done that we are going uh, to the post again 
and as you can see we have made one post what we are going to do now is um, making a listing for this post yeah so we created the post and now we are going to make an, a listing for it and um, this does the same thing as for example Ali custom skin when you're using advanced custom fields um, so it's basically uh, this, the same but the only difference is, is that this is particularly for um, jet engine from Coco Block. So we've made it a post, and as you can see here, edit post. And you see here a query argument. And you must leave that as the way it is right now. And um, at the query arguments, you must toggle that on. What this does is uh, it connects with the pro, uh, profile page and to the templates edit post. So um, this is very important that you keep it this way. And the name is edit post. And you can use an icon. Uh, And embed it in here and then you can see that it has an icon and you can customize the color and, and everything I'm not gonna do it now because otherwise the tutorial will be too long and then we are going to duplicate this and the next one is delete current post link and this is the message that they get when they want to delete something and this is the reads. Uh, and notice that this it must be the same. And this uh, well. What for icon do you want? Uh, mm, well, it doesn't matter. We use this one. Okay. Start a little bit. So a little bit of drag. Uh, and this one, and style it a little bit. And a little bit of drag. Okay. Once you have done that, then um, make, make sure that this one is correct. Don't, don't forget this. Uh, the query arguments. Don't forget that. Actually, you can copy it because we're going to use it later on. Once you have done that, then you can uh, use um, the Elementor and we can use a dynamic image. <laughs> a little bit double. And then we are going to use uh, the photo that is from post two that we have made that post. You know, so first we have made, uh, made a fields in uh, the custom uh, field and then we are going to use the post that we have created and we want to choose the fields photo and then the now you don't see nothing now yet but that came later on then you go in once again to the elementor and you go to make the dynamic fields in here and we are going to use the metadata now this is very important because the metadata is uh, basically what we are going to use in the most of the cases when it is a term 
uh, that is something like taxonomies or something like that but you also later on in the tutorial when we are making uh, those uh, forms and you have to choose always almost always for metadata <laughs> oh no it's a photo and let's duplicate it and then the next time next one is the contents updated and um, when you go to the um, listings then you then you can use the post so you see here terms when you toggle that on that is for example for the taxonomies but you have to choose for the for the post and then it's post number two and then updates and when you preview you don't see nothing but that will come later so now we're going to exit and um, when we go to the posts then we see number one and we're going to make another listing uh, it must be post and then the one that we created post number two give it a name you can edit with Elementor or with Gutenberg it's actually better to do it in Gutenberg but let's do it in Elementor because it's much lighter and once we have created that then let's make two sections to the settings to the post, post 2, and toggle on make listing clickable and to the permalink. And don't use uh, open in a new window because that is uh, just not uh, so good for the people. Then it will go to another page. And we're going to use the dynamic image. And we're going to use photo. Yep, there it is. And the rest you can leave it as it is. Now it's not, you don't need to make the image clickable because then it's also permalink, it's double. And it may cause some problems. And then uh, center it, just uh, customize it a little bit and uh, next we are going to have a contact field and metadata and then we're going to select um, the heading and we're going to style it a little bit the size is a little bit one so that was the post that we've made right? and then we are going back Elementor, or we can we can duplicate this and metadata, and let's take some little look how big it is. <laughs> it's just uh, too big, so uh, let's start it a little bit. Yeah, and let's publish it. Uh, we, I made a mistake. Let's see. This one must be a little bit bigger. Yeah. So um, this is what uh, the people are going to see when they edit their post. 
and they can edit it or delete the post when they want. Oh, radio. What's next? Okay, next uh, we are going to allow people from the front end to submit this post. A little tool we're going to use. And we're going to copy. We're going to the uh, post types. We open the post type. And then we go into the meta fields and we are going to copy all those IDs. So the first one. And the photo. And content. Voila. Then we go to the forms. There are too many of them. Hmm. I should have uh, made this uh, better. Uh, let's see. Uh, new post. Edit user. New posts. Um, Every post. I'm so sorry for this. Edit user. Uh, it does apply. And we have new posts. Edit users. Sorry for this. But it's all for free, those tutorials. So, um, edit user. Okay. And new post is too much. New post. Okay. So the first one is a new post, and the second one is edit post, and we're gonna leave this this uh, for what it is right now. Let's delete this permanently. This is very important when you're doing something like this. Just delete everything. Keep it clean and simple. Okay. Um, so new post. We're gonna edit it, and then you see all those fields. Now, this is very important. The first one is uh, field post ID, hidden. Delete it on the new post, only here. Yeah, okay. Now, the first one uh, we have to add in is that what we have copied from the post types, those IDs. So let's see what was it. The first one was the heading. Gonna paste it in here, and it's um, the text, and all right. Description you can leave this as it is right now, and you can decide if uh, it has a particular uh, length, so that you don't want to have too much text and visible for all just keep it for all because they have to log in anyway and apply changes now you must uh, when you when you're doing this you must look very good because when you when you have when you make one mistake the whole show won't go on required apply changes and then uh, the second one copy this and it's the text area is what you see what you get and replace that okay at the preview button no, we, we don't gonna do this on this tutorial and then the last one was photo, and that was that one. 
uh, where are we? Yeah. So it must be the media. And it doesn't have to be required. This is very important. If you don't um, do this, it won't work. It's also very important this choose for the ID. Loud numbers of, of files. When you have a slider, then you can uh, have here, for example, uh, 10 photos. But in this case, uh, one maximum file size on this moment is too much, but you can do it by yourself. But I do on this view, so it always works for this tutorial. And the visibility is for all. Okay. Just go upstairs and look if you have made no faults because when you make that fault then nothing works this is very important eh? that you copy and paste it just then apply changes okay now redirect to a page we are not going to use that it speaks for itself so when uh, they have submitted the post and then there will be a right redirect to another page. We are not going to use it. Uh, you can see here that you can choose whatever you want to choose. So um, if you, for example, uh, want to call a uh, hook or a webhook, we want to discuss that later, but um, not on this tutorial. Just use this, and the post must be post two. You can send it to publish or draft. We keep it on published. Uh, So this is a meta. And um, let's make this a meta too. You see here terms. If it was a term, a taxonomy, then it was a term. But um, it's meta in, in our case. Um, so we are going to choose for meta. And we are going to use it for a meta. Make no spelling errors. All right. Take a good look. Is everything fine? Is everything good? Apply changes. You can uh, customize the message. It's not so important for this tutorial, but you can do that. Update it. Don't forget to update. If you don't do that, nothing works. This is for a new post. Now we are going to uh, make the edit post and it's basically the same. For a couple of things there are different. And I'm going to show you what. So um, edit posts. Yeah. Now we have the ID. And you see that the ID is this one. That's you saw previous the, the query and that is also important when we're making uh, listing grids and, and things like that so um, this is very important and so it is in hidden and this is the name the ID post ID keep it just the way it is okay don't change anything and this is the same story that we had previous 
So the first one was this one. It was a text. Mm. Label. This is what they're going to see. So they know, they know uh, what they have to do. They want to have it to be quiet. And visible for all and apply changes. And this is very simple. This is the second one. And that was a text area. And what you see is what you get. And just change this. All right. And it's visible for everybody. Apply changes. And the last one was a photo. And they want to use this one. It's a media. And it's name is photo. So the, this the, this the name came from here, eh? from uh, the post types, the, all those uh, IDs. Start to quiet. Don't forget this. Don't forget that. Don't forget this. It must be one. The size can be a billion. And toggle on what type of image they can download or upload. And you can choose uh, any other one, but yeah, why do you want to do that? Video MP4. Okay, visible for all, apply changes, and now, this is the Smith button, eh? and it was saved, so that was also uh, with, the, uh, with, with the other form, you must always have a Smith button, otherwise I can't submit anything. Pre-filled, so uh, when they uh, are adding the posts to ch make changing changes, then it will all be pre-filled so they don't have to fill all over again everything but just the thing that they want to uh, correct or uh, and then you must use full post if you're using other things you see that everything will appears on another way and this is basically the post, I, this is very important that you keep it just the way it is. You see, there it is again, our little post ID. Then the head is a meta, it's a meta, it's not a term, it's a meta. And let's make no spelling errors. If you want make one little spelling error, nothing will work. So just copy and paste it. I really don't know why they don't pre-fill this, but it's just the way it is. Okay, right, redirect, no. Okay, why, what, what's wrong with this? Why is it blue? Oh, okay. And then here, what will happen when they submit the form? So it will be pre-filled and then it will insert and update the post. And the type is post number two and it's public. Keep it just the way it is. Post ID will post ID updates the post. And there we go again, meta, meta. So when you are using the default uh, WordPress environment, then you can choose the post title and the post content and the post terminal, but we're not going to use it in this tutorial. 
and this is are getting older so this is a long text then i copy and paste it so i don't make mistakes okay apply changes wow okay so we have made in two forms and uh, let's see what we have to do now we have to we have made the pre-fills and uh, we are going to our page all pages and we are going to the home page and you can make an, an, a separate page if you want uh, this is for showing the grid and we have only one post so it's just a little bit and what we are going to choose here is the listing um, what was the listing uh, I'm going to show you So the listing here, yeah, so we have two listings. Listing Besucher, this is for the, the visitors of the website. Everyone can see that. And this is user post item. Yeah, so let's copy this too. And we're going to the pages. All pages and this is the account page so this is uh, where the people come who are logged in and you can see here the templates we're not going to use the templates this time we're just going to adding the listing grid and we're going to choose for user post item as you can see here here it is let's make it one so this is the post with adding post and delete post with those two and um, don't toggle this on this is later on when we are making a specific uh, listing which and we customize them for the taxonomy and something like that but we're not going to do it uh, on this moment well these are all settings uh, display uh, the post the numbers of post uh, in this case is one but uh, you can see that later in the in the later tutorials because we have only one post and once again do everything very 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 slowly and just make sure that you make no mistakes so um, what I have done is here to the post query and then I have choosing for post and auto parameters and what you have to do then is current user so only the current user can show this so when uh, somebody else adding this page, they won't see the post that the current user has added. And the terms, they are okay. And for the rest, you don't have to do anything. And the visibility, don't use it. It's just good and fine as it is yet. Right. So the next uh, thing we have to do is making a single page. And it must be a single post. And give it a name. Mm, 
and we go into adding the dynamic. Let's first see the preview settings and choose for the post that we have made, post two, and and keep it just on all. And then um, we're going to Elementor. Let's add in the image. Uh, it's going to be from post two. And then we are going to the dynamic fields. And we're going to use the metadata so not not the, the other one the, this is the metadata because we have made the metadatas and we're going to apply this at condition and we are going to choose for the one that we have made um, well just And then save it, and you don't see nothing now. Exit, edit with Elementor, and sometimes you don't see it. And this is just that we have to use uh, the 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 preview settings. And when you're going back, then you can see that we've made one post. And that is number one. So when we go in back to the save templates and uh, now to the theme builder, I'm sorry, and we go into the list single, we edit. I'm doing something wrong. Number, number. Um, team builder. So when, when you're making one mistake, you see that you uh, lost a lot of time. And then apply changes. There it is. You can customize it a little bit. It doesn't look nice, but you know what the meaning is. You can customize it by yourself when you have sliders or videos, something like that. Go back. We preview the page and we click on it. There it is. And you can make uh, templates um, as, as many as you want for different kind of uh, taxonomies. We're going to uh, do that later on. Um, we're going to see the saved templates. Then you can see here all those saved templates. We have made the forms, edit posts. So uh, these are the two for, uh, sorry, I must go to the forms. This is what we're going to use. That is the edit post. A new post. And those two we need to inject in here. Uh, Edit post, and there is our post updates. Going back, add posts. I 
click the post updates. Let's go to make a user. We uh, are going to make a uh, login, uh, um, a registrate form that's also in forms, but let's do it in this now the simple way. And we are going to use delete this one uh, delete all content that's what you have to do and then we are going to edit this one and we go to give them a simple password confirm the weak passwords copy this And we're going to save it. Uh, this, uh, these are the forms that we're not going to use now, but we do it later on. So we're going to Git Engine. Let's copy this one. Okay, so we are going to use that fake email. Uh, wait, I, I forgot something. I, I must add it to the menu bar. So we go in back. We see nothing. See yet, and then we go into um, appearance menu. And the account page added to the menu. Save changes. Let's go back. Request the page. And we are going to use that fake email. So when we go now to the account page, you see nothing. But when we are adding that and we say in is it wrong? I think it's wrong. No, it's good. Then you see that you can add in the post. So um, when you use add the post, then you can see that it's all pre-filled, but you can make changes as you, if, if you want. And uh, you can add a new post, and then you can uh, do whatever you want. You can make a dummy text. You can upload the photo. Uh, let's do this one. Add new post and then it has been added to all the posts so you can see here that there are two posts and when you click on it then you see here the post that we have created and this is what we already done so and this is the account page and when we are going back To uh, mm, to the listings, then don't forget that you must make it clickable. This is very important. I've said it uh, uh, a, a couple of times. But in this case, you don't have to make it clickable because this is for uh, the subscriber. And the roles, you also must make sure that it's, it's a subscriber. So by all the users, you see this one, edit, and it's now an administrator. So it he can always see the post or edit the post. So when we are going to this one and we are going to give them the same passwords uh, i'm going to copy this and we copy
copy this. Of the user and when we go into the page now we can edit because we are administrator now but when we are logging out and we are the new subscriber then you see that there is no post at all and when we edit a new post And we adding a photo. There's this guy, this little boy. We add new. Then we see here that we have our new post. And we don't see here. So um, here in the menu bar, from here that we can only add a new post, but not adding the post so we're going back to the profile builder and then we go into the page and then we are going to see adding the post and saving and then we have to make another post This does what what those box may have that you don't see here so that uh, when you are here so but uh, add new post and edit post then you see here nothing and that's because here on the templates um, save templates when we have here edit post then we have to make sure that the listing here mm, so this is the uh, user updated and we're going back and we refresh the page then you can see that we can edit the post What you see though is that you can edit every post and then you may think by yourself well how is that possible how is it possible that I can edit every post well that's just because when we have here on the save template edit post then we must customize the grid to the post query auto query and here choose for the current user and then update so that's the reason that we now can edit every post and now only the one that we have made and then you can see that we can change it and if we delete the post you, you see that we can uh, we can uh, change the post now here and when we delete the post then it's deleted and even from the front page so account new page and do it once again and then we want to quit this tutorial and we are going to use uh, 
this one from my garden <laughs> of my holiday house I'm going home then we see here the posts the single page that we've made the accounts edit posts and everything works fine okay that was uh, all you see when we add in the post then you see that it will be pre-filled and so the that's what you have to keep in mind if you go to the account you see now here the add new post so you make a title here so an add post edit user and then when you're adding that the post it's pre-filled okay that's all for this tutorial and the next time we're going to discuss about uh, taxonomies and that kind of things and we're going to build uh, the websites more advanced with webhooks and all those things we're going to connect it with uh, the, the the bots curio bots or continually i don't think that i can connect it with continually but we will see thanks for watching and i see you soon to another tutorial